Uh, number one, WTF, or as they say in the business, what the fuck? is up with Todd Gurley, and will this be an issue next season? Man, this just seemed like a question that would just be ridiculous, say, like, week 16, something like that. I mean, this guy was money. I mean, you know, to the point where he's, like, sliding on the one-yard line because he's so dominant, and he's like, oh, you know what, we don't even need this touchdown because, A, my team wins all their games by a million points, and, B, I score so many touchdowns it doesn't even matter. He became just a complete non-factor. And they keep clinging to this like he's not hurt. It was game flow. There's no such thing as game flow like that when you've got the best, potentially the best position, skill player, whatever in the NFL. What's going on? What do you believe? I I truly have no idea what to believe. You can't imagine that it was 100% healthy Todd Gurley. As they keep saying, there was no nothing wrong with the knee. He could have gone a full workload. They keep saying these things, but how could you possibly let this guy, as you mentioned, just three, four weeks ago, he was the inconceivable, no questions asked. Like that, you can't even come up with another argument for anyone else at number one overall. This guy led running backs in fantasy points after missing two games. He still topped the position. He was legitimately twenty plus points every single week. Has those thirty to forty point week winners. There was no question marks about Gurley. He touches the ball twenty plus times every game in one of the league's most explosive offenses. A good offensive line. Everything about him was pristine. And then fucking. Fat Thickum C.J. Anderson comes in and does have some admittedly great games for this team leading off into the, the playoffs, and it becomes a committee, and you're telling me splitting workload almost right down the middle between these two guys, in fact, favoring C.J. Anderson in quite a few games, was the best call, the best way to set your team up for success, and this guy was still girly, fully healthy. I can't buy that. A guy that scored 21 touchdowns and just had a monster season all year. I can't 21 buy that 21 touchdowns? Yeah. In, in Did he really games. score 21 touchdowns? Yeah, in 14 games was the back-to-back. It's the first time, I think, ever that the the running back has gone back-to-back in terms of fantasy points being the skill point position leader in terms of receivers, right in the next tight ends, led the league two years in a row, and then goes and disappears. So it's tough for me to be like, okay, now we got to just take this guy out of our our top six or anything like that because he's been so money historically. But suddenly there are some question marks that you don't have with a Saquon Barkley, that you don't have with an Ezekiel Elliott, that you probably don't even have with a Christian McCaffrey. So so could you conceivably take Gurley out of your number one spot? Yes, in fact, he's yes, not. Yes, absolutely he's, you could conceivably take him out. I mean, yeah, 35 yards in the Super Bowl, 16 yards in the, the week before against the Saints. Of course you can. Uh, what are these usage question marks? What was happening? There is no clear answer. McVay keeps saying things like, we were in a really good rhythm with our running backs. We had gone back to back. His conditioning oh, wasn't on. there. Coming Whatever. off a knee injury, he couldn't handle the 60 to 70 snaps, despite saying he's going to have a full workload each and every week. I don't get it. He looked pretty healthy against Dallas when he had 116 yards and a touchdown. It wasn't like this guy was completely dinged up. So the mystery remains. There's certainly question marks. I mean, C.J. Anderson is a free agent, but they've already said we would be thrilled to have this guy back. You got Andrew Whitworth, one of their their left tackle, the main blocker on that offensive line, potentially mulling retirement. Roger Seffel, the other guard on that left side, is a, a free agent coming up this season. So that entire left side of the line could be eliminated. You got Gurley with these usage question marks moving forward forward where they seems like everything you read is they want this type of uh, one two punch they think it's better for longevity uh, after girl has gotten hurt the past couple years so now you got some usage question marks as great as he's been these t- last two years, he's at best my third ranked guy in my big board and could fall say below Kamara I was going to ask you I was going to say Kamara or Gurley who do you take Right now, if I had a gun to my head, I would still take Gurley today. Really? But there's far more. Wow. I don't know. That is tough, right? Because the offseason about- can only get better for Kamara. Worst case scenario, Ingram comes back and he is what he's been, which is the RB4 in back-to-back seasons. Uh, best case, Ingram leaves and he could potentially lead the position in a historic pace. So what you think, you're what, right. Maybe you- Kamara could only go up, whereas Gurley seems like he could only go down if he loses these lines. I would take they Kamara Gurley, right? What about McCaffrey? Who would you uh, take? McCaffrey? Man, I, would, I, I would take McCaffrey. I think I might take McCaffrey there. It's so tough. It's so tricky because Gurley has been so dynamite these last two years. But moving forward, there are far more question marks than I ever thought entering the playoffs could exist around such a sure talent these last two years. What about Gurley or Trent Richardson, who had a big A <laughs> debut, two touchdowns? Two touchdown day, uh, averaging his career his steady pace of 2.5 yards per carry. Nothing has changed with Trent Richardson, but still okay. touchdown hog over there, the AAF. That's right, touchdown hog. I mean, you know, if you said to me before the game, who do you want? 
fantasy wise Todd Gurley combined NFC championship game and Super Bowl or Trent Richardson in his AFF or AAF debut uh it's it's no question you'd rather have Richardson uh, anyway at this point